go. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Ron Trades, and we're back here with another trade breakdown video. In today's video, guys, we're going to be going over my silver bullet long position here, taking on June 6, 2023. Very nice setup, very proud of myself. Um, you know, guys, like I say, I know I haven't posted in about two weeks now. Like I said, I'm going to get back to posting. Like I said, I just really been having fun, man, and really just learning a lot about myself, guys. You know, growing in my development, growing in my trading. Um, I, I'm not on social media anymore. I'm not on Instagram, Twitter. I don't do those things anymore. I'm focused on me. I don't care what no one else is doing. I don't care what this guy made. I don't care what this girl did. I don't focus on my process, and that's it. Once again, I'm not a teacher yet. I don't teach yet because I'm still developing in my own process. I'm only here to share my journey. So if I ever go ghost for about two weeks or a month, nothing happened to me. I didn't blow an account, I didn't fall off. No, I'm just focusing on myself. Everything does not have to be shared. So let's go ahead and get right into this video, man. Just had to get that out there first. First and foremost, guys, what do we see? So right here, we are in the five minute time frame. Let's make sure you yeah, got, we're in a five minute time frame here, guys. We're trading silver bullet. Silver bullet starts at 10 a.m. through 11 a.m. Now understand where silver bullet, you need to have a entry by 10 a.m. Well, you need to have your entry in place by 11 a.m. It doesn't mean your take profit has to be hit at, you know, 10 a.m. or 11 a.m. You need to have your entry in between those time zones so it's very important to understand that a lot of guys on you know a lot of these guys they're not teaching silver bullet right that's why i say if you're trading a silver bullet time-based model just learn from ict don't learn from anyone else because he's the one that created it so let's get right into it right here guys so first and foremost what do we have we had a liquidity grab right we had price come down here and take out liquidity here so we had what we had sell side taken and notice here we have been taking out what ever since this um this market started we have been taking out nothing but sell side. So we've been delivering sell side of the curve the entire morning of um, London session and a little bit of New York session. So we've been delivering sell side. Sell side has been taken all the way down here. So we have nothing but London shorts in. So we have profitable London shorts, right? So I came to the market with that narrative. I said, hey, we got nothing but London guys in here, London sellers. We can go out and take these guys out. Why? Because we only been delivering the sell side of the curve. And I understand that the market does not just go down. It doesn't just float away. We're going to see buy side of the curve taken, right? So I came into the you know the market with that narrative. I came to my charts at 10 a.m. Why? Because that is the silver bullet. 10 a.m. I don't need to be in the charts at 8 a.m. I don't need to be in the charts at 9 a.m. 10 a.m. I know I'm going to get a setup on the lower time frame. Like I say, guys, right here, 10 a.m. silver bullet. First thing we had was liquidity. So, so the first check off is what liquidity. Where's liquidity at, Ron? Right here, 8:30. What do we see? Liquidity grab. We came down here at 8:40. We took out sell side. Notice how we couldn't, you know commit to this um this breakout here people that was looking for shorts they had sell stops the rest of me here they want to see price break out lower and breakout traders are in full effect so we tripped these sell stops in we had an immediate displacement up here so after this is so after the displacement i wanted to see these short term high broken right so we had an end balance they got rebalanced if we are bear, no wait, like I say, if we are bearish, we're not going to take this out. We had an end balance, they got re so we had a fat value gap, they got rebalanced. If we are bearish, we're not taking out this fat value gap. This is not the case here. You guys can see right here, 10.05, we had a displacement, market structure shift, MS shift. Why? Fat value gap, they got end balance, end balance, they got rebalanced. We don't want to see those taken out if we are bearish. What do we have here? Displacement. So second check off, displacement, market structure shift. After my market structure shift, what do you see right here? It says liquidity grab, MS shift, and what else? Drill entries. Guys, drill entry is nothing but fat value gaps, OB, supply and demand, OTE. Whatever it is your entry drill, that's all that means. So once again, my checkoff, guys, is liquidity, sell side taken. We tripped in these sell stop breakout artists. They got faked out, stop loss jammed up, right? We had an MS shift and balance. They got rebalance. We don't want to see this taken out if we are bearish. We, we should hold here. We should have held right here off this five minute OB right here. We should have held right here. If we was bearish, we should have stopped right here and continue to keep going down and dumping. That was not the case. And I knew that. MS shift at 10.05, market structure shift. Entry drill. We had price come down to the last down close candle. OB. I, I'm going to be honest. I didn't take this because I wanted to really see what price going to commit. Came down here to the OB. Tapped it nicely. We moved away. After we moved away, it was nothing to think about. I took my fat value gap entry here. Where's my fat value gap? This whole candle right here. This whole imbalance candle here. We came down and we rebalanced. Fat value gap. You know, rebalance, rebalance. So I'm taking my entries as we're literally tapping inside of here. I took two entries here on my 100K. Um, my forex fund account, I uh, am about, up about 4% here. So yeah, we had a nice move away, attack what? So the first target was right here, buy side. 
We have buy side, buy side pool here. And now as you can see, I'm still inside of this setup for very, very, very small partials. Half of my setup is off. Like I said, I got like a very small lot size running because I'm targeting this four, this four minute city. But my next target is gonna be around up here for buy side here, um, which likely is gonna get respected. So yeah, guys, this is my setup here. Nice scout position here. Like I say, booked about 4% already. Um, just letting the rest of it run. Very, very, very proud of myself, guys. And I know I said this in my last video, but I'm definitely back posting my content and posting my journey, guys. Like I said, I just took a break, man. Just to, like I said, I really love focusing on myself. I really love trading on my own, not worrying about what anybody else is thinking. Like I say, guys, I'm only here to share my journey. I'm only here to look back at this channel five years now because I understand I'm going to be a fucking millionaire in the next five years. I'm telling you right now, I am. I'm going to be a millionaire in the next five years. And I'm going to come back to this video. I'm going to say, damn, I really manifested all of this man that happened in my trading journey so yeah i'm so proud of myself man very proud of myself thank you guys for everyone that's still watching my videos like i said i'm not a youtuber not a content creator i don't care about views subscribers none of that interests me all i care about is money so yeah man it's gonna be the end of this video I'll catch you guys in the next video man and as always happy trading and trade safely peace